Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Bri and I'm back with another video and I'm so excited to be sharing this video with you guys because you guys don't know how long I've been trying to figure out what story to tell you guys. Like I was on the phone with my best friend like, yo Crystal, help me. What story should I share with my subscribers? Because I have so many stories to tell you guys. But I finally narrowed it down to one story from my first story time video. So here we go get started so the story time i'm gonna be sharing with you guys before i even get into the story i do want to say i am not going to mention anyone's name and anyone name that's going to be mentioned is either i'm still friends with them and they allowed me to use their name in this video other than that i'm not friends with these people anymore so i would not be mentioning their name in this video so that's pretty much it so anyway so first of all why I wanted to share this story was because it's basically a message across for people, especially if you guys are in high school and you guys have friends. I'm telling you now, when your parents say, bring that ass home, just bring that ass home. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you this crazy ass story. Let me stop and let me get into it. Okay? So first of all, um, I met this girl in high school. Um, I'm going to nickname her Crazy Girl because legit everything when I think about this girl is just crazy and it's always something with her. So I'm going to call her Crazy Girl. So I met Crazy Girl in freshman year of high school and we were close friends but you know as you're trying to get to know somebody that you're trying to just figure them out as a person and when I was figuring her out as a person it was just some things that was just not right with her. But, you know, I'm not the type of person to judge. I'm still going to be open to trying to get to know her because I didn't just want to judge right off the bat. But legit, like, she wasn't wrapped to take. So, one day after school, like, before school ended, Crystal and another friend of ours and Crazy Girl, we all decided that we did not want to go, you know, straight home after school like we wanted to do something like we didn't want to be we felt like we were those boring ass friends who just saw each other in school and went home so we're like oh, okay let's hang out at the school but we did not have nowhere to hang out we didn't know what we was gonna do or whatever so crazy girl suggested like yo how about you guys come to my aunt's house she doesn't mind or whatever and you guys can hang out with us right so, from the back, I was a little guarded off of it, like, guarded from it, because I was raised where I'm not allowed to hang out in nobody's house unless you're my family member, and nobody's allowed to hang in my house, because my mother just didn't play that. So, I kind of was like, mm, I don't know, but I didn't want to be, like, the party pooper, especially when you're young, you sometimes have your friends influence you like yo just come don't do that like don't be whack just come and hang out with us so i'm like all right i'm gonna go then she told me the neighborhood where it's in us where we was going i was just like okay i don't really know about this so but the friends that i was going with we all lived around the same area so it wasn't like i was traveling back home by myself then on top of that at 4 30 it gets dark in the fall so i'm like oh my god it's gonna be dark when we come home or whatever so i'm like okay whatever brand just go but i knew i should just follow my gut and did not go to this place like so she's like oh my two boy cousins you know they're like around my age they're mad cool or whatever and she's like don't worry they're not gonna try to talk to you well she's like well maybe one of them will try to talk to you or whatever blah 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 she told us her cousins was like some hood guys like they were in gangs and all this stuff so when we get to the house she's like oh brie i have a cat mind you i hate cats like i don't even want to be in a house where a cat i hate them so i'm like yo all these red flags i should have took that and took my ass home so we get in the house or whatever and so me and crystal are sitting on one couch our other friend she's sitting in the single chair crazy girl sitting on the arm of the couch her two cousins one of them is in the room sleep um and one of them walked in from school and then her aunt is in the house also but her aunt is in her room sleeping or something like that or whatever and i think it was an older guy there i don't know if that was their father i can't really remember but i know 
it was the two cousins that called. I think it was like a little cousin as well, but I'm not so sure about that. But anyway, so we all chilling or whatever in the living room talking or whatnot. Like I'm literally sitting on the chair like this because I hit cat and the cat is like walking around the house. So I'm like, oh my god, I hate cats, I hate cats, I hate cats. So we're all walking, we're all sitting in the room talking or whatever. And then the cousin, one of the cousins come home from school. So like he walked in the door, he was like, yo, what up y'all, blah, 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 saying hi to us, whatever. So she's like, crazy girl's like, oh, this is my friend Bree, this is my friend Crystal and our other friend or whatever. And so I'm like, hey, we're all saying hi, whatever. So he sits on the couch, you know, just chilling or whatever. His brother who was in the room sleeping comes out the room and he's like, yo, he says his brother's name. I can't remember his brother's name. So he's like, yo, um, you got my Metro card? So mind you, we're like a Metro card. And he was like, nah, I don't got your Metro card. He was like, guess you do, my nigga. You took my Metro card today at school or whatever. It's just like, they just start arguing over a school metro free metro card that is given by new york city education department like you could go to school and you could say hey i lost my metro card and they would give you another metro card but no he didn't want to do that he wanted to argue with his brother so they're arguing or whatever and next thing you know they're both like face to face with each other about to fight each other so they're like arguing or whatever, like, yo, my nigga, you took my metro card, blah, 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 blah. He was like, so you feel the type of way, if you feel the type of way, step outside, step outside. So he's like, all right, so step outside, so step outside. So homeboy took off his book bag. Mind you, this one boy is still in his boxers. He literally, literally just woke up from his bed and he's arguing over metro card. So he's, we're like, what? So crazy girl is like trying to break it up she's like yo y'all chill y'all ODing. it's just a metro card if you got his metro card just give him his metro card he said like, i got that nigga metro card fuck him fuck that da like they're just arguing or whatever so now next thing you know they like swinging at each other and i'm like like what is going on so they're like fighting or whatever and like she's like stop 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 so the aunt come outside, the aunt come out her room into the living room is like, yo, what's going on? He's like, he took my fucking metro card. He won't give me my metro card back. He won't give me my metro card back. So she's like, if you got the metro card, give it to him. He's like, I ain't got his fucking metro card. If he feel a type of way, step outside, step outside. So they eventually stepped outside. So they stepped outside. Like, I mean, they went outside in front of their building start fighting in front of their building like they're not brothers and like they're just like going at it and crazy girls like outside she's like can y'all stop can y'all stop can y'all stop so we run downstairs and we see what's going on and we're like yo like this shit is really going on like this is really happening and then so crazy girl is literally by the lobby door and she's like opening it like, yo, can y'all stop? Y'all embarrassing me. Y'all can never be a family. Da, da, da. And like she start crying. And all I'm thinking is like, okay, let me console my friend and hug her and like or whatever. She's like literally crying in my arms and she like falls down crying or whatever on the floor. She's crying like, y'all always embarrassing me. Like crying. And I'm like, oh my God, this is really happening. So the uncle or the father or whoever the older guy was was like yo y'all go upstairs y'all go upstairs or whatever so like people in the neighborhood is stopping and they're watching them fight or whatever like i mean these dudes are like fighting each other and it's like you guys are outside fighting each other so after they stopped they came back in the house after they stopped fighting they came back in the house the mother yelling at them like yo i'm calling the cops because i can't take this shit or whatever and so they like call the cops who cares that nigga took my metro card or whatever and he's like i ain't got your fucking metro card fuck you my nigga like he's just like cursing his brother out so his brother legit picked up the freaking toaster and threw it across the room like literally threw the fucking toaster across the room while we're all sitting in the living room I ducked like oh hell no like what did I get myself into I should took my ass home and I'm like 
they really like throwing the toaster and the mother's like i'm calling the cops i'm calling the cops and the older guy was like yo y'all need to chill crazy girl's like yo y'all so embarrassing or whatever and she's like yeah. she like pulled me aside and she's like they're only doing this because one of them like you and i'm like if he likes me that ain't the type of guy i go after like you're not about to be turning up on your brother like that imagine how you would turn up on me when we get into an argument like no so everything like ch is like chill for a second so we like all just like in shock about what just happened so me and my best friend crystal's looking at each other like yo what is going on like this is crazy and crystal's like yeah like i don't understand so i'm like wow like i just want to go home so we're like all right let's get our stuff and let's leave next thing you know they start arguing again so i'm like oh my god like i just want to go home they're arguing this one of the i think the older brother he went in the kitchen and got a knife like you know the knife like the big knife like you chop big chicken with he went he went and got a knife right and he ran after his brother out the house so now he so now they like run out the house like he takes a knife and he runs out the house after his brother so now the brother's like running from him or whatever and like when i mean they are chasing he's chasing him down the block of where he lived like he's his brother's like literally running for his life he's like i'm gonna kill this nigga i'm gonna kill him he always fucking with me he always fucking with me like he literally had the knife like this running 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 so i'm like oh my god like okay let's get our stuff and go so the uncle or whoever i don't even who the hell was this older guy like i don't even i think it was the older brother or some shit like that i don't know but it was like an older one out of all of them or something so he like yo yo y'all get in the room y'all get in the room i'm like get in the room like i'm gonna go home i took my, i picked my stuff up i'm like i'm going home they're like no don't go home they're outside he's chasing him outside with a knife like you don't want to get caught up in that like just go in the room so i'm like I want to go home like I like I when I mean I was scared because like I never been in a situation where I was about to see somebody get stabbed you know so I'm like I'm not going in the room I'm gonna go home so Crystal got me like let's just go in the room or whatever until they're set like they settle down and whatnot so the mother's like I'm calling the cops I'm calling the cops right and then so I'm like Oh my god, the cops is gonna be here. We don't even live here. My mother don't even know where I'm at. I never lied to my mom, and I put that on everything. Like, I never lied to my mom. If I did lie to her, I told her the truth later on. So I'm like, yo, I told my mom we was gonna go hang out somewhere. I didn't tell her we was gonna hang out at somebody's house because she already don't play that shit. Like, all I was thinking was about how I was just about to just get in so much trouble and how I might not even get out this room. So I'm like, yo, they really fighting. So then, like, Okay, we're locked in this person's bedroom like i don't even know who room we were locked in me crystal and my other friend we're just like oh my god um that's all we kept saying was like oh my god like how the hell do we get in this situation so we're like yo this our family is really crazy like i don't understand like how do people deal with this shit like what the fuck so after he done chased his brother with the knife they come back upstairs and he like you want to chase me with a knife you trying to stab me over a metro card or whatever i mean they start throwing their mother furniture like like her furniture imagine me throwing my mother furniture in her house she would throw me with the furniture <laughs> yeah i'm like okay are you kidding me so they're like throwing the furniture chris was like yo we gotta get out this house so everything calmed down after he threw the furniture. I think one of them left or whatever. And so, yeah, one of them had left. And one of them went downstairs to, like, cool down and whatnot. So, like, I pretty much know both of them was embarrassed. Because it's like, you guys just act a fool in front of three pretty-ass girls. Are you kidding? And now you don't have no chance at all, right? So we walked out first of all where they lived was so far so deep like we like time we walked out we was like yo it's mad dark it's mad late like i like how how 
how are we gonna get home <laughs> so late like i'm at your car probably cut off so we walk downstairs he's standing outside or whatever like his shirt is all ripped because they was fighting and he just standing outside looking crazy and he like yo he said a crazy girl like yo where you going and he was like she's like i'm dropping them to the train because i couldn't even hang out with them because you and your brother want to act crazy or whatever and then he goes yo tell shorty in the um jacket over there that i like her and he pointed at me and i looked at him like you don't like me because i damn sure don't like you like the lifestyle you live is not for me so i'm like are you kidding so we left or whatever and we're walking home like we're both all three of us is like what the fuck did we just get ourselves into like that is some crazy shit like he like they're both fighting over us since then i have not been to like nobody's house chilling i've been in my house all the time so that's my story time and